Hi, Megan. Um, Hi, Sharon. Welcome. And, you know, thanks. Let me just say thanks, first of all, for just taking some time out today, because I know what it's like, you know, spinning lots of plates as, as a marketeer. Um, so it's just great to have an opportunity to, you know, to chat to you with a marketing hat on about, you know, A, what is it like working in a recruitment company as a marketeer? Um, and then also looking at um, how being a member of Superfast Circle has helped you in, in different ways, you know, with, within your role. Um, but maybe before we get into the detail of that, you know, how about, you know, I ask you to just maybe say a little bit about yourself and, of course, about the yeah. cloud. Um, and just give give us a sense of you know what what the scope of your marketing role is because it does vary, doesn't it, between you know different recruitment businesses? Yeah, it's really varied. Um, so my background is um, two years ago, two and a half years ago, I um, came into marketing for the first time as an apprentice um, with Big Cloud. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm now the marketing manager, um, and I operate under a lot of functions really um everything from seo to email marketing um done a bit of website building as well um yeah it's uh, it's a broad scope for me um and big cloud uh, we're a startup um and we specialize in recruitment for data science machine learning and ai right okay um and and i am right in thinking that you know you you guys operate globally Yes. Yes, we do. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Um, so, I mean, let's let's maybe just go back before you know you you joined Superfast Circle, which um, I think probably was around this time last year, maybe sort of August September time, wasn't it? If I if I think about it. Yeah. Um, you know, within your role, um, you know, I guess as a marketing person, what um, what was it like? Um, I guess before you had access to, you know, the circle and, and what's involved there. Um, so obviously, big big clouds are pretty. We're pretty small, um, and the marketing department compared to say a corporate business is um, is a lot smaller. You know, we don't have um, people kind of doing different things so mm-hmm. it was a bit chaotic at times I guess um at most there's only ever been two of us in the department right. um so it's always been a case of juggling balls and yeah. and having a lot of things to do um and not really knowing where to look sometimes a lot of organization required yeah and I guess it's you know just thinking about um you know you talked about you know everything from you know building a website to yeah. uh, video you know, there's there's content there's social media you know there's there's um you know email campaigns and then i think you know sometimes what it's easy to forget is you know behind the scenes there's all that graphic work and there's no there's nobody to sort of go and hand something to is there from a graphic point of view and yeah exactly exactly you know. So, um, so yeah. and, and I imagine also you get drawn into other things. Um, is that something that we experience? I know some marketers talk about, you know, they do get pulled into lots of different parts of the business, you know, helping sort out databases and things. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I can, I can't even count how many times I've, my, my eyes have kind of been turned up where, so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, you know, I guess at that time, if we go back, you know, just around a year ago, you know, for you at that point, what would you describe as some of the, your biggest marketing challenges, you know, uh, you know, spinning plates, you know, being one, but what were some of the other challenges? Um, I think uh, kind of on a broader level, um, a business goal has always been to integrate marketing with recruitment more. Um, yeah. There's always been a bit of a disconnect there. You know, recruiters mm-hmm. like to do things one way, marketers like to do things their way. Um, and you can butt heads a little bit sometimes. So, um that was always um, something that was kind of in the back of our minds um, and definitely something that going forwards, we really wanted to try and resolve. We wanted to knit these two teams together more um, and just streamline the functions better because at the end of the day, my job is to help support recruiters um, and make them feel supported. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and I know from talking to other marketers that you, you're not alone in, in that um I guess in, in that kind of problem, 
um, and, and it, you know, it's impossible, isn't it? Um, so, I mean, first of all, I mean, how did you how did you come across super fast recruitment and, and, the, and the circle? Um, Can you so yeah, back in back in. <laughs> I'm just uh, just processing. Uh, so back in August, I think it was when we started looking. Um, I think we were just, we were just Google searching um, companies that would, I guess, work with marketing, but to help recruiters. Um, and yeah, it was just a case of researching. Um, your names came up quite a few times. Um, so yeah, that, I think I think that's how it came about. Is we just we we addressed the problem, realised it was a problem, and and wanted to solve it. So we were like, okay, we should get some, we should try and look for some help. Yeah. Okay, and and so, and I know and so much has happened, hasn't it, in the last year? But you know what what made you eventually make that decision? So you checked us out. What made you make that decision to join Superfast Circle? Um, so your. I, I remember quite quite clearly because um, obviously I mean as you just said a lot's happened in the past year um, really? and at the time um, we went from a marketing team of two to a marketing team of one um, so my my hands were very full anyway but I do remember that you were very consistent with following up and maintaining communication with me um, organizing calls with me when I was ready to um, and I remember you also offered some really attractive resources as well. Um, mm. You know, if I had a question, you would answer it immediately and you would provide some documents to support that. Um, mm. I remember I asked for testimonials for sp specific clients that were um, similar, I guess, to us yeah. um, and their, their personal experiences and how you've benefited them. And that definitely helped kind of solidify in my mind that we were going to choose you. Yeah, yeah. So, so I guess knowing... Um, you know, if you got that kind of response, you know, even before you became a client, that am I right in thinking then that you felt that you could trust that, you know, being a client, you would naturally, you know, receive, you know, a same level of service, if not, if not even better, hopefully. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that does just tie in with your communication as well, because you were so responsive. I kind of realized that, you know, when I did have. Uh, questions or I needed advice or support you would be at the end of the phone um, and you would be very responsive to my uh, kind yeah. of queries so that was yeah. that was great yeah oh, good good we aim to please <laughs> okay. so, I mean it, you know it has I guess been just what, nine months I guess I admit, that you've been a member so I mean over that time what would you say you know have been you know some of the benefits that you've gained from it and the kind of things that you know perhaps you've been able to achieve you know with with it might being in mind of that problem that you were looking to solve as well yeah so um obviously me being on my own um I think one of the biggest the biggest things was being able to have other voices a sounding box if you will um mm. other advice to get from you know, yourselves who have many years of experience, but also other members of the circle um, who might be in companies very similar to mine or their companies might be slightly bigger. They could be somewhere else in the world. Um, and that's that's been really refreshing to just be able to get a much broader perspective that I just wouldn't get, you know, even if I had a team, um, I just wouldn't get that in an office setting. Um, and especially with the pandemic, I guess it's meant that, it's been a lot easier because we have these these phone calls um, mm -hmm. and we're able to have these points of contact um, and be able to support each other and that's been a really big benefit yeah yeah and I mean and you know of obviously you know there's I guess there's a number of different aspects to um, what you have access to as a member you know and, and the, the group calls and being able to to, to have that network to, to balance things across you know is an element of it you know, what, what else how have you tapped in and used some of the other resources yeah so the thing I like about super fast circle is um aside from the group calls um you've obviously got your kind of self-teaching platform which allows mm -hmm. me to to train myself and teach myself um, based off your learnings in my own time. I also get to opt into the group calls when I have questions that need answering more presently. 
Um, and then your templates as well. Your templates are great. They're so time saving. Um, you know, your campaigns, the email templates, I've gone through those many times. Um, obviously I'm implementing that automation software soon. So that's been really helpful with, um, kind of helping me construct quite a lot of emails on mass because that's going to be quite a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, I feel like you have a very kind of multi-pillar approach to yeah. to the support that you offer, and yeah. and that's been very very helpful. And 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 I, I suppose you know I'm just wondering um, how, if at all, you know, because I think you know you know having worked in a corporate organisation for many years before we came into <clears throat> you know setting up the business, um, you know I worked predominantly at, at times in a sales function and then in a marketing function. And, and I know corporately in a global organization that, that bringing those two functions together, um, it's not an overnight success, is it? No. So, <laughs> I'm just wondering, you know, um, that was a, a big problem. How, how have you been able to take steps towards bringing them together with, with what you've been able to do so far? Um, I, I feel like, you guys have given me kind of greater confidence to be able to go and speak to other people, um, conduct conversations and just make things happen really. Um, a lot, a lot of, a lot of times you're kind of saying things verbally and the process doesn't really follow through. Um, whereas I've been able to do that now. Um, you know, I've been able to produce higher volumes of content, um, than prior to, being with you um partly through the fact that you have those templates but also because there's a level of accountability there you know I I get on these group calls and I'm a bit like what have I actually done this week (laughs) um and that's been really motivating and really helpful um especially in the past year when productivity hasn't been as high as we would like it yeah and and so so you know has that sort of, I guess, that ability then to content supporting the team, has that helped to sort of begin to bridge some of those? I don't think yeah. around either. Yeah, definitely, because the con- obviously the content is so varied. It can be anything from posts on social media that are requested um, directly from a specific recruiter um, or their internal documents. You know, if people want extra internal documents and I can be there and I can say, like, hey, I can do that. Um, I, I'm here to support you. And, yeah, that's definitely helped um, solve that problem and get us on the right track to opening lines of communication and making that easier. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Um, you know, are there... And I'm, I'm just, you know, acting here because, you know, I know people get so many different things um, out, out of the circle. But there, are there any any other things that you feel that, you know, as a business, you know, it's benefited from or it's helped you achieve specific, you know, goals that maybe you had? Um, I mean, particularly with you, Sharon, we've had com- a lot of conversations about kind of working mindset, um, which I guess goes beyond business goals, but as personal goals, um, my working mindset and my ability to um, to work productively and work to time constraints, um, and just in, just improve myself really. Um, yeah, that's been that's been a major goal that's kind of been achieved and continues to continues to happen. So that's really positive. And um, you know, would you say then, you know that. Was that something that perhaps exceeded your expectations? You know, when you think, well, I'm joining this program and it's about marketing. Was that something that you hadn't necessarily thought you might get? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think initially I was thinking it would it would be perhaps on more of just a business level. Um, mm. But with with the circle, it's it's quite like tight knit and feels feels like a proper community, um, which has helped particularly with the the more personal side of things um to just feel to feel supported and you know no question feels too big or too little to ask um and and the advice is always really solid as well so good i'm glad you said that (laughs) Um, and and, you know and i think um, it's interesting that you bring you bring up I, i guess the mindset piece because um you know, I, I think it's really easy and, and it's very common, you know, I think for all of us to underestimate how when 
we're setting ourselves goals, whether that's, you know, bringing sales and marketing together, whether that's getting a new website up or optimizing it or whatever, or, you know, getting a, getting a new automated campaign together. But, um, you know, when we are spinning so many plates that you know, sometimes, you know, actually as individuals, we, we can kind of like get in our own way, can't we? Um, and, and we don't need to, um, you know, so I think, you know, through, some of those conversations I know that you and I have had, um, you know, it sounds like that's been really helpful. And I know it has because I, I, I know things that you've been able to do as a, as a result of it. So that's, um, you know, that, that's good though, that, that you recognize that that's you know, probably not something that initially, you know, you, you think you might get out of a program like this. Yeah, definitely. You know, you know mindset is it's a, it's a big thing as we've chatted about. Um, I mean, you know, I, I know you've sort of mentioned a few things, but, um, you know, Denise and I, you know, are, I, I guess, a team when it comes to Superfast Circle. Um, how, how would you say your experience of us and how we work, how, how does that align or has it aligned with, you know, Big Cloud and, you know, I, I guess the kind of business that, that you guys are? It's aligned with us massively. Um, I think your kind of drive for productive and positive business growth um, is something, I mean, you know, we work in the tech industry, it's it's very fast paced and it's changing all the time. Um, So from the growth aspect, um, Mm. I've really felt like that's something that we all have in common. Um, And also just another thing as well is your um just the positive conversations we have sharing successes um you know i come to you for advice but it's always a very positive outlook and it's as much about focusing on maybe things that didn't go so well and how we can improve them but also looking at the things that did go well and celebrating those absolutely, absolutely. um you know I, and i think that sometimes you know when you know, as an individual within a business, we've got a team of consultants and they can all celebrate together. Um, then, you know, it's like you're, you're the martyr. Now. You're, at the moment, you're on your own now. And it's like, you know, you know, it's good just, just to have someone that you can just work with. You know, with, with a marketing hat on, actually, that's, that's really good um, you know, and, and it's, it's natural that, you know, as a recruitment consultant, you know, without, you know, some of the marketing knowledge that, you think, well, you know, well, okay, well, it sounds okay, but without that appreciation of what's in the world and actually recognizing that, it would be the fucking result. Mm. Um, you know, email open rates, open rates um, you know, it, it's easy when you're talking about small numbers to think, well, all right, well, well, actually, we know that, that you know, certain levels of click-through rates and open rates, we know in the market today what is, you know, some really good numbers. So it's good to be able to recognise that together. Um, and so, I mean, you know, you've you've had, you know, some experience of us, you know, over the last year. Um, if, if there are some other marketing people watching this, you know, or a business owner even who's got, you know, perhaps they're, you know, they're bringing an apprentice like yourself or... or you know, a young grad that's maybe you know just got under twelve months experience because of everything that's happened over the last year, um, you know, you know, or even actually someone that is a more experienced marketer, but maybe they don't know the recruitment industry quite so well. Um, I mean, what would you say to those individuals about um, how to be them part of the fast circle can work for them? Um, I think that. I mean, well, not I think I've seen firsthand um, from the other people I've met in the circle that you guys cater to businesses regardless of size. Mm -hmm. Um, And as you just said yourself, um, not just size, but also where people are at in their personal kind of career journeys. You know, for Mm -hmm. me as an apprentice, I wasn't just new to marketing. I was new to recruitment as well, actually. I forgot to mention. Um, So it was all new to me. Um, I'd forgotten that as well, actually. Yeah. I actually, I completely, yeah. I completely forgot. It was kind of two things at once. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, you know, it, you you really do cater to to 
to a lot of a lot of people mm-hmm. um and also the industry as well um industries can be completely different but we're all doing the same thing in terms of recruitment so um for people that have maybe been in the business longer it it helps you kind of refresh your mindset and think of things differently because I think yeah. things can get a bit stagnated and you you need that outside advice um and inspiration and someone else to to help you generate new ideas and mm-hmm. go back to the drawing board because it's never too late to do that um yeah. Yeah. And to and just to explore things and try try new things, um, yeah. and you guys definitely encourage that. Yeah. Oh, good. And and I guess as well, you know, it's um, you know just going back to you know all those multiple hats that that you wear. Um, you know, I, I guess having access to you know people that you can talk to. Um, and I, and I guess you know campaigns and, and resources and things like that. Um, how has that perhaps helped? Um, you know that that ability to implement somewhat faster because you're not you're not having to work it out. You're not having to test things to the same degree. I mean, we always say you know test this in your market and stuff, but you know has it has it been helpful for yourself? to perhaps just take some shortcuts because you're not having to create everything and test everything and find out what doesn't work yourself because you've got a steer and, and some clarity and, and some resources. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we, we keep using the phrase, but I personally spin many plates um, and having those resources kind of there and prepared, it takes a little bit of time out, yes. Um, and it... Yeah, it just it just helps me produce things quicker. Um, but I can still put my own spin on it, um, yeah. which is really helpful. Yeah. How important? Well, that's an interesting point, isn't it? How important is it for you to, to be able to you know then put your own spin on things and you know tailor things to your brand? Because you know, there are resources that we create that we know they're very industry specific. The topics are very relevant you know, and you know, it's then over to you and other members to, to bespoke them to yeah. your business in your sector. Yeah, I mean, tone, tone of voice is really important. Um, I myself am a massive perfectionist, so I have a bit of a habit of perhaps over-editing and overthinking. Um, but with the templates being there and having the initial structure, it helps me have a bit more direction and stop looking around too much. Um, you know, if I was to start a piece of content from scratch, I'm thinking of 101 things, whereas you've kind of given me that that structure and that outline to go, okay, there's this, this, and this. And if I want to put a few extra things in here and there, and if I want to twist it slightly, then I can. But yeah. the hard part is done for me. Yeah, yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Um, so, um, is there is there anything maybe that I've not asked you that you think? Oh, do you know what? I just want to say that. Um, you know, because you've said some, you know, some super things, and you know. I, I can clearly tell that you've got a lot out of you, you know working with us. But is there anything that you know maybe I've not asked that you think it'd be good for people to know? Uh, not that I can think of. <laughs> well, that, that's fine. It's, it's always just good to, good to check. Yeah. Um, so, um, well, you know, thank you for just you know taking time to just you know share. Um, you know. Because I think you know people will, will get a lot from just I guess getting you know, personal insight into you know what what it's like um, you know as a marketeer you know, being being a member of the circle. Um, I guess the one thing actually, if I could just ask you one more question that's just come to yeah, is, of course. You know, there's there are marketeers in the group, and there are you know clearly you know business owners who are yeah. not at the point where they brought a marketeer, and yet they might be. Um, yeah, and a few freelancers for different things, but, but they're also quite hands on themselves. How is that as, as a marketeer? How is it for you, you know, having the input from other businesses? Um, it's, I mean, it's great. Um, for, for me personally, I've come from, I come from a very creative background. I'm, as far as age is concerned, I may be on the younger end of the spectrum. So 
I'm not only getting insight from people with years of experience, but also from completely different industries. Um, so, you know, if, if it's a business owner or a business leader, um, it's interesting to see their personal struggles and see things from, from a different side. Um, and it doesn't just help me understand where someone else is coming from in their own kind of business but it also helps me understand my own business structure a bit more and what other people in the office in my office might need from me specifically yeah yeah and and i guess that helps you then yes you and how you can respond and and things that's fantastic yeah Yeah. great super well again thank you for your time really appreciate it Um, all right talking to you and um, no doubt we will see you on next week's call yes (laughs) thanks megan have a great no worries and you